Here's a challenge. Can you name the 1960s musician who is friends with people like best-selling author Truman Capote, movie star Peter Fonda, pop artist Andy Warhol, underground comics creator R. Crumb, and blues legend Muddy Waters? The rock star who had his portrait painted by famed illustrator Norman Rockwell and also lectured on American music at Stanford University, UC Berkeley, and other institutions of higher learning? If you answered Michael Bloomfield, well, I have a book for you. Hi, I'm David Day, an author of Guitar King, Michael Bloomfield's Life in the Blues, to be published by the University of Texas Press this coming October. It's a truly comprehensive biography of a musician who played a pivotal role in the development of American pop music in the 1960s, who was a superstar in his day, but who had largely faded into obscurity at the time of his death at age 37. Bloomfield's remarkable skill as a guitarist, his knowledge of American musical styles, particularly of African-American blues, set the standard for young guitar players around the country at a time when pop music was undergoing a cultural revolution. And then, after electrifying Bob Dylan, sparking the Paul Butterfield Blues Band, creating brass rock with his own electric flag, and supercharging Super Session with Al Cooper, Bloomfield suddenly quit. He spent the last decade of his life avoiding the music industry and playing only the music he wanted to play when he wanted to play it. 